Hello there, I'm Simon Pegg, and uh, I am voicing Conrad. Welcome to my ship. I'm so pleased you're here. This is the story of the heroes I found, right here on this small, isolated, strange-smelling planet. Commercial game, in terms of playing video games like arcade games, I remember obviously the, the original uh, classics, you know, um, Galaxian and Galaga and uh, Space Invaders and Asteroids, Pac-Man, you know, all those. You can choose another disc at any time, you know. The evolution of gaming is, uh, is an interesting thing because I think if you'd shown me spare parts when I was playing Galaga, I would have thought that, you know, it was like it was science fiction to see something as advanced as that. But you, it happens very gradually, so you get used to it. Spare Parts is great for, for the fact that it's it's a cooperative game. I have said in the past that I do like playing just myself. I I actually don't mind playing when there's someone with you in the room. I always get a bit frightened of playing online games because there's always going to be some kid who's a quarter of your age who's much, much better than you makes you look silly. But yeah, the idea of sitting with someone playing a game uh, together, I find really appealing. It's fun, it's really good. It's a, it's a great exercise in cooperation. It's like team building, you know, they should have people play these on business weekends, you know. It's better than falling backwards into each other's arms. I mean, the first computer you think of is obviously HAL 9000 because, you know, he's the most iconic of the artificial intelligences out there. But yeah, setting off from, from square one with this, I, I was thinking perhaps a little bit of HAL and obviously there's Mother from Alien and Kevin Spacey did a great, uh, AI recently in Moon. With Comrade, you know, he's just, uh, he's a nice computer. He's got a lovely personality and he, he, he you know, uh, guides these robots with a, with a certain amount of paternal um, wisdom. Warning, the signal is breaking up. It's impossible to boost signal strength. Take care in case we lose communications. I like robots because they're just very interesting characters. They're kind of, obviously they're proxy humans, so there's that thing of, uh, do they have emotion, do they not have emotion? It's easy to project your own emotions onto them, to project your own character onto them. Um, they're all a lot more interesting to look at because they're different from us. Uh, these guys are particularly sweet and kind of uh, endearing, which is great. Yeah, and also they're cool, you know? They're robots. <laughs> but I love the idea of rocket boots because flying would be great fun. But at the same time, the power arms, you know, I'm about to move house, they'd be coming really handy for lifting boxes. And the X-ray vision, obviously, you know, for any guy, is always a boost. But I think probably I'd have to go with the rocket boots, just because they are what every human being is surely dreaming of, <laughs> having one day being able to just take off. I love the look of it. The art style of the game is really interesting. It's kind of a combination of a number of influences, you know, architecturally and in terms of the robot design. There's a little bit of Japanese kind of kid robot manga style in there that's with a, a sort of cyberpunk elements. It uh, looks really good. It's a, it's a good representation of contemporary science fiction, I think. I like the spider monkey because it's one of those indigenous things that could, you know, the Crofax are a busybody. They're kind of, you know, they're minions of Krong. Spider Monkey's got a little bit of kind of native majesty. I'll go with Spider Monkey. I think the punklings are cute, so maybe there's a little kind of, uh, you know, I'm, I'm siding with the Spider Monkeys because they look cute when they're babies, whereas the Crofax are probably just built somewhere. <laughs> Brilliant. You completed the simulation. Who would I like to play this game with? You want to play the game with your best friend, really. You've always got to play someone close to you, someone who's whose mood you can sort of uh, predict and whose, whose temperament you are okay with, you know. It's, it's, it's hard playing co-op sometimes. You've got to be in sync. You've got to be together on it, otherwise it won't work.